I'm Kate O'Donnell with Mindful Learning Practices. Today we are going to do rapid review on cellular transport using digital flashcards. If you would like to purchase a printable set of the flashcards, you can do so at mindfullearningpractices.com. Now, join me in starting with a deep breath and our intention statement. My intention for this practice session is to create a stronger neural network related to cellular transport so that I can easily access the information when I need it. I know that I am an important part of the universe. My worth is not measured by how I perform on a test or the grade I get in a class. I am loved unconditionally. I work hard because I find joy in learning and I know that I can accomplish anything with effort. My intention for this practice session is to create a stronger neural network related to cellular transport so that I can easily access the information when I need it. What is passive transport? Passive transport is the movement of things in and out of a cell without needing any energy. What is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of molecules from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. What is osmosis? Osmosis is the movement of water molecules across a membrane from areas of high concentration to low concentration. What is facilitated diffusion? Facilitated diffusion happens when molecules move from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration across a membrane with the help of a transport protein. What is a transport protein? A transport protein is a protein in a cell membrane that can open and close to let molecules in and out of a cell. What is active transport? Active transport is the movement of molecules across a membrane that requires energy. When is active transport necessary? Active transport is necessary when molecules are moving against their concentration gradient from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. What form of energy is used in active transport? ATP. Closing meditation. Thank you for this opportunity to grow as a learner. I know that taking time to practice remembering will strengthen my neural networks and help me remember when I need to. I know that I am an important part of the universe. My worth is not measured by how I perform on a test or the grade I get in a class. I am loved unconditionally. I work hard because I find joy in learning, and I know that I can accomplish anything with effort. After this practice session, I am ready to move on to the next part of my day, focusing on kindness, acceptance, and compassion for others. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time.